We are following breaking news first at five on this Thursday. A motorcyclist has died after being struck by gunfire in a Lackawanna neighborhood this afternoon. We're told the victim is 26 year old Colin Felton. You see him right here. We understand he's the father of a three month old child. Now here's what we know. More than 15 shots were fired at the intersection of Edison Avenue and Cherokee Street. This is just after one o'clock this afternoon. Cameron Eppinger is on your side. He joins us live from the information cam. Heather and Anthony, an unfortunate story, a tragic situation. Another family now dealing with heartbreak after this deadly shooting. As you mentioned, the shooting happened earlier this afternoon, right before 1.30, right behind me. I'm going to step out of the way, and this is a live look. Just within the past five minutes, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office broke down the scene, but you can still see a remaining JSO squad car here. And again, this is at the intersection of Cherokee and Edison. This is uh, in the Lackawanna neighborhood. Now I want to go ahead and show you some scene video that we shot earlier. And just to confirm, here's what we know at this hour. Police say that this shooting all stemmed from an altercation between a motorcyclist and someone in a pickup truck. And we know that at least 15 shell casings were found here at the scene. Now, police haven't confirmed the identity of the victim involved, but we spoke with family who, were, who was out here on the scene, and they tell us uh, that that victim is Colin Felton. And again, he's 26 years old, and he's the father of a three-month-old baby. And the family also tells us that the dirt bike that was involved uh, in the incident was recently purchased uh, by Colin. Now, as a result of this shooting, police say they are now looking for a dark color newer model full-size pickup and they say uh, that pickup that was involved sped away uh, after the shooting in an unknown direction and right now police are now interviewing witnesses here and trying to gather some surveillance video to try to get an exact description of that vehicle that was involved now once we learn those details we'll be sure to pass them along to you but for now reporting live in Lackawanna Cameron Leppinger First Coast News on your side